It all started in 2016 when we did our very first short-term trip to Burkina Faso. When we were there, God was just right in my face, just, this is where you need to be, this is where you need to move, and fought it kind of the whole way a little bit. But I know that one thing I needed to do was to open my hands and give the girls to the Lord and Joel. And I remember coming back from the trip and the Lord just telling me, you gotta let them go. You know, they're mine. And I just went on my face and just sobbed as I gave the girls and Joel to the Lord. And um, then it just started a snowball effect of His plan for us. We landed in Burkina in 2017. Um, full-time in August, and we were there f until 2019. So then after that, we went to France for a year for language school. And then during that time in France, that's when we got the call from our team leaders in Burkina that they were gonna temporarily shut the site down. And um, so- Because of security. Because of security reasons. That's how he led us to, to Guinea. It wasn't until we got there, landed, got settled in that we went back to tour the school and it was not what we saw when we first went. And we were trying to figure out what to do next. And so there's a boarding school in Senegal and our oldest really wanted to go. Joel knew that that's where she needed to go. And I said, no. <laughs> I actually tell people I told God that he was dumb because I always wanted to be a mother and know like you, you don't know what's right. And he just kept reminding me, you remember you gave them to me. It was obvious to me and obvious to our oldest, Maddie, but it took a lot of hard work for Amanda to get there. The first year with Maddie being gone was difficult, but Sophia was in the house. And I would tell one of my friends, the hardest part about it is you're always looking for what's next, like when they're gonna be back. But when Sophia was there, it was hard for me because it's like wishing for Maddie to come back, but yet am I wishing away the time with the youngest? And so um, that was a really hard season. Knowing that we're doing what the Lord has called us to is worth it all. One thing I learned through all this is that our human mindset has is shaped and formed in one way through the world and things that we've learned growing up and seen versus what Jesus actually has for you. Sometimes can be a great sacrifice, but at the same time, there's so much goodness that can come in the sacrifice.